This is Saidi Kasile from Humanity, and today I will be leaving you with three questions that you have to answer before you finally start with your sideline or rocket or whatever you want to call it na naiisip niyong simulan very very soon. So, before we go to that, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel, of course. Hit that bell button over there so that you will be notified of new videos coming up and please 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 also like our facebook page and our instagram account womanity and here we go let's start intro before every time people would ask me kung magano ba yung monthly expenses namin ng pamilya i would confidently tell them the answer that Ko ano yung talagang alam ko nung mga panahon na yun, na yun yung monthly expense namin. Until my husband and I sat down and list down all the expenses versus the income that's coming into our house. At na-realize namin na yung figure na lumabas, e eh, doble pa nung figure na nasa isip ko or nang ina-expect ko. And that's the time when we finally decided to cut down on expenses. Um, yung mga every week naming lakad na talagang every week ginagawa namin, nanonood kami ng sine. At talagang nanonood kami ng sine every week natin. <laughs> Siyempre, pag nanonood ka sine, kakain ka rin sana, bas gas naman yan, ba So, yung regularity of those kinds of expenses, we cut it down to just once a month at until na naging twice in a quarter na lang siya sa naging sobrang dalang na lang siya. And of course, inisip rin namin kung ano pa yung mga pinagkakagasusan namin dati na or yung mga expenses namin na pwede namin gawasan. For example, sa kuryente, we we uh, put uh, a time kung kailan lang namin bubuksan yung aircon at kung kailan namin siya papatayin so that mamamonitor namin kung talagang bumababa or or nag-increase pa yung aming kuryente at that time. So, those, those are the things that we did para mabawasan. Pero, syempre, hindi pa rin siya sapat eh. Kasi, yung mga uh, expenses namin before are obligations which we have already started. Like, yung mga mortgages, yung mga uh, kung ano-ano pa pinagkakagasasan namin dati na hindi na namin ma-cut maka down. Uh, may mga utang pa kami sa credit card dati. So, we have to keep up because the the salary or the income that we are getting um, before can no longer keep up with the expenses that we already have. That's why nagkaroon kami or we came up with the conclusion that we have to have another source of income or other sources of income. Now, why is it important to have other sources of income? Well, for one, it doesn't Siyempre, kung meron kang gustong gawin, hindi naman libre yun, di ba? So, when you have other sources of income, it gives you more flexibility in terms of your cash flow. And, of course, you won't be limited by money in terms of achieving what you want what you want or your dreams in life, di ba? Kasi, for example, um, eto na yung current na scenario mo na talagang nag-aabot lang yung yung income and expenses mo or nag-aabot lang yung yung salary mo salary mo from previous month and then from this month tapos syempre gusto mo rin naman makapag-travel gusto mo rin naman makapunta sa iba't ibang lugar gusto mo makakain sa ganitong restaurant pero hindi mo magawa because nga very tight na yung budget mo that's why it's very important kung gusto mo maranasan yung mga yun, kailangan mo rin mag-add ng another source of income para at least ma-achieve mo yun kahit pa paano, di ba? And also, um, to save money, di ba? Kasi kung halimbawa, obligated ka na at yung mga kinikita mo nga ay sapat lang para doon sa mga obligation mo, wala ka na talaga masisave. Kasi di ba yung mga tao, sinasabi nga nila na hindi, hindi ko na ma-afford yung kumuha ng kung ano-anong investment, hindi ko na ma-afford yung kumuha ng kung ano-anong uh, in, uh, insurance kasi nga, hindi na sapat yung kinikita nila. So, nai-hinder yung pag-save nila or yung chance nila na makapag-save because kulang yung kinikita nila. So, bak so para... Para madagdagan yung kita mo, ano gagawin mo? Dagdagan mo rin yung sources of income mo. And, of course, number three, um, malaking tulong din kapag ka nagkaroon ka ng another source of income because you can get to pay off your debt. 
Kasi nga, yun nga, kung nag-aabot lang lahat ng kinikita mo, hindi mo na rin nababayaran yung mga utang mo. And yung mga utang na yan, minsan nagkaka-interest pa yan, lalo kung sa, ba, kahit nga sa tao, eh, di ba nagbibigay sila ng mga interest kapag nagpapautang sila. So, interest pa lang, nababaon ka na. So, paano mo maka-counter yun? Na, na hindi mo kukunin sa current budget mo or current na kinikita mo. So, you add another source of income to compensate for that debt naman. Kayo, ano pa yung mga naiisip niyong reasons kung bakit kailangan magkaroon pa ng other sources of income? If you have the answer, just comment down below kung ano yung naiisip mo. I'd love to hear from you. Now that we know the reasons kung bakit kailangan natin ng other sources of income, we now plan for our next move. And, eto na yung mga tatlong questions na sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na pwede mag-guide sa inyo kung paano kayo kukuha ng bagong racket or bagong sideline or whatever you want to call it. So, question number one. How much do you need to cover? Di ba kanina sinabi ko, naglista kami ng mag-asawa na kung magkano yung income versus expense namin and we realize na kalahati pa nun yung kalahati ng expenses namin ang unaccounted for. Yung ibig sabihin, hindi namin alam na meron pala kaming ganun or hindi ko na take into consideration. So, yung kalahati na yun, yun yung iniisip kong goal. That will be the goal kung bakit magkakaroon ako ng panibagong source of income. So, ibig sabihin, yung additional source of income ko would compensate or would, would cover for those expenses or for that budget na kailangan punan ng pera. Number two, What are the sidelines or opportunities available out there? Kasi syempre, there are opportunities that are uh, easy to set up. There are opportunities that sobrang tagal bago mo siya maset up or ma-execute. So you have to consider also that. And number three, how much do you need to know or how much do you know before you execute? Mabilis lang ba siya? Katulad na sinabi natin kanina doon sa question number two. Or will it take too much of your time? Kasi syempre, kung kailangan mo nang bunuin yun agad-agad, baka naman kailangan ng mas ng mas konting preparasyon para doon, di ba? Although, kailangan, alam mo na alam mo talaga kung paano mo siya i-execute bago mo siya, bago mo siya gawin, di ba? And, This is uh, very important, especially if you have a full-time job. Kasi syempre, you don't want your part-time job to intervene or to interfere with your full-time job. Kasi syempre, yung full-time job mo, yun yung nabibigay sa'yo sa ngayon ng steady income or ng active income, di ba? So, if, we'll take, if it will take too much of your time, syempre, maapektuhan din yung full-time job mo nun. So, yung kailangan mo yung i-consider. And, If you also have multiple jobs, baka naman kasi mamaya sobra na siyang dami na hindi mo na siya kayang i-manage. So you also have to think about that. And there you have it. Those are the three questions that you want to consider or you want to answer first before you could get that sideline or racket of yours. Um, huwag kayo mahihiya kung halimbawa uh, yung mga tao iniisip sa inyo na sobrang raketera kayo or ang dami niyong pinagkakitaan, biniloloko kayo na mag-alala, huwag kayong mahiya. Kasi even the business tycoons or yung mga richest people in the Philippines, they also have multiple sources of income, di ba? Um, yung mga business tycoons natin, they would prefer having more um, businesses also, di ba? That's why they want to to diversify their business. Merong iba siya, nag-real estate, merong iba, nag- um, sa food industry and so on and so forth. So, kung sila, kaya nila yung gawin, kaya rin natin yung gawin on a smaller scale na. So, again, if you like this video, I hope uh, natulungan namin kayo ulit. Uh, marami kayong napulot na ideas to sa mga pinagsasabi ko kanina. Uh, I hope that you will like this video. Also, please subscribe to our channel, Womanity, and uh, sa Instagram na rin namin, please uh, mag, mag like din po kayo and please, 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 if you think that other people would also benefit from this video and you think that they could, they need this kind of um, videos in their life, in their life I hope that you could share it to them as well um, hanggang sa muli po this is Heidi from Humanity bye bye